Well, let's stick with the problem of London's gangs for a moment. After stealing, killing and dealing in drugs, gang members have been called many things by many people. This evening, in a speech in Westminster, the Shadow Business Secretary will mark them out as potential entrepreneurs. A little earlier, Chuka Amuna told me what he meant. The point that I make in this speech, really, is that what you see happening around our gangs, and I see this in my borough in Lambeth, where the problem is quite acute, is both alarming, but of, in addition, terribly frustrating as well. It's alarming because what you see is uh, groups of young people brand building their gang, um, often producing music videos to promote uh, their activity, sometimes occasionally also branching out into fashion and music to try and carry out uh, perhaps a more legitimate form of business. But the frustrating thing about it is, is that we have to, as a community, ask, why at the outset have we got young people who are using that set of skills, that wherewithal, to do these dreadful things? And of course, gang activity is underpinned by criminality and violence. Well, can why I are they using it for that and not at the outset choosing to take it down a legitimate entrepreneurial route? I just want you to, to pick you up on something you referred to there. Sure about these uh, people that you met last week, you said, in your constituency, who said that they try and make money quickly, whether it's against the law or yeah. not, with a view to running some sort of legitimate business in years to come. Did, yes. did you have faith in what they were saying there? Did you believe that's well, what their I'm, intentions were? Th well, th this was just a cross-section of young people that I brought together in one of uh, the youth clubs in my constituency, where there's a large number of young people who are affiliated to or who are engaged in gang activity. That was one of the messages that they, they were giving out. You see, what we're engaged with is a constant struggle with an ecosystem that produces gang culture and all the things that lead to that. Let's assume that these people who are breaking the law as members of gangs yeah. uh, and putting all their efforts into breaking the law and making money illegally, let's say they can be turned to make money legitimately and, and use that entrepreneurial spirit so that they can move up in society. How are you going to do it? What's the, the switch you're going to flick? Well, I think there are two things that are important, and I, I'm not pretending to have all, of, all the answers on this. I mean, to some extent, we've got to look at this bottom up. But first of all, clearly the family, as ever with gang culture, is a major uh, factor. But we also, in particular, I think, need to look at what's happening in our primary schools. Because, of course, by the time a lot of the gang members get to secondary school, a lot of them end up getting excluded. I find that we've got kids of the age seven, eight beginning to get involved in gangs. We need to be working with the different business groups, the CBI, Institute of Directors, Federation of Small Businesses, to get their people into our primary schools to show our kids what they can achieve right. if they go into business. All right, Mr. Muna, thank, right you very much indeed. thank you very much indeed for your time. We're out of time. Thank you. Thank you. The Shadow Business Secretary, Chuka Amuna, speaking to me earlier. And uh, staying in.